Hello everyone, it's me, Ghostcube, and today I am drawing Fear Street Killers as Animal Crossing Villagers. I love the Fear Street trilogy. I grew up with a lot of the horror movies that it took inspiration from, and I also grew up with the Animal Crossing games, so I thought it would be fun to combine the two. The Fear Street trilogy shows us normal people that become possessed by a mysterious, demonic force and are helplessly hellbent on murder. What sets each killer apart is that they each have their own distinct style and personality, so I wanted to draw them in a cute style and see where they would fit in the Animal Crossing universe. Our first killer up is Ruby Lane. Ruby Lane became possessed and killed her friends and self back in the 1960s with an old razor blade. But her restless soul can be seen slicing people up in all three Fear Street films. She is most known for singing her way through her murders. She was in choir when she was alive and known for wanting to become a singer one day. Because of her big hairstyle and how she was described as such a sweet girl before her tragedy, I thought a rabbit villager would be fitting for her. I took the blood from her wrists and decided to incorporate it into a pattern on her fur. I feel like it adds to how unsettling but alluring her character is. I also added a red overlay tone to the piece because I felt like she was one of the most vicious killers out of the bunch and I associated her with blood the most, as her weapon causes her to be covered in a lot of it more than some of the other killers. She was honestly my favorite drawing out of the bunch. I love how she's so creepy, but really cute at the same time, and that's kind of how she's portrayed in the film as well. She was she's so sexy, but fucking crazy! And with that, Ruby is done. I feel like if she was on my Animal Crossing island, I would find her singing in the town square and want to be her friend, completely oblivious to her murder attempts, and inevitably wake up to her blade on my throat. Our next killer is Ryan Torres, also known as Skull Mask. We do get to see Ryan as his normal self during Fear Street 1994's Cold Open. Him being behind the mall murders comes pretty unexpectedly. He's sarcastic, funny, and carefree. Kinda reminding me of Animal Crossing's Rat Villager, so that's what I drew him as. I kinda tried to lean into how derpy Animal Crossing villagers can look, since Ryan's wearing a skull mask, I wanted to add a bit of uncanny valley into this design. I felt like his eyes are probably the most successful part of that attempt, as they really jump out and give off a cute but really unsettling vibe. I also made his design more symmetrical, just to sell the idea that we are looking at something unnatural, and I think that makes the knife in his hand pop out just a bit more with the way that he's posed. I love the feral energy that the rat form gives him. He looks unhinged. He has eyes that I just don't trust. And there he is, the terrible rat skull child. If he was a villager on my island, I would not interact, because I don't trust anyone with vibes this chaotic. Our final killer is Tommy Slater, the Camp Nightwing axe murderer of 1978. Just like Ryan Torres, we do get to see what he's like before the insane blood trail he leaves on the summer camp, as he goes for half of the movie being normal before being forced to snap. Tommy is known for being kind and laid back, so I decided to draw him like a koala villager. This is probably my least favorite drawing out of the bunch, only because I was really happy with the way Ruby and Ryan came out and couldn't stop comparing him to them. I guess I also have a soft spot for his design because my absolute favorite villager that I have on my New Horizons island is Ozzy, so I can't hit on his looks too much. I thought it was kind of fun to make his face probably the most friendly and sympathetic of the three, as his normal self gets a lot of screen time and gives the viewers a chance to connect with his character and become uneasy, watching him slowly crumbling and helplessly giving in to the shady side curse. I feel like, though Ruby was the most vicious and cutthroat, Tommy as the Camp Nightwing killer is absolutely brutal. Maybe the most out of the whole trilogy. Because he shows no mercy and kills any and every shady sider that stands in his way, leaving a ton of camper carnage in his wake. And there he is, Tommy Slater, in all his dopey, murderous glory. 
I also made a version of him with the mask, which is also fun. If I had Tommy on my island, I think we would get along fine. I think we would be friends. He can visit my house and listen to KK Slider songs with me anytime. Just as long as there are witnesses. And there we have it! Our Fear Street Villager lineup. Who would you allow on your island, if any? Please let me know in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed this little video. I know it's a bit different from my usual creepypasta content, but I hope you guys had fun. Also, please let me know if you want me to continue making videos like this. Should I draw some of the other Fear Street killers as Animal Crossing villagers? Maybe even other horror movie villains? Let me know! Also, be sure to do all the do's and like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Sweet dreams.